welcome to VidBits. Today we're going to show you how to install the SQL Server Client Tools or SSDT 2017. This is because we're going to be using SQL Server 2016. And what has happened is that Microsoft has removed the SQL Server Management Tools and the Client Tools from the actual SQL Server 16 package. So we'll go to the web and we'll search for SSDT Client Tools. The very first hit we get will be the one we want. So download SQL Server Data Tools, SSDT, and we go down till we find the 2017 tools. For this one, each one of them are in here by the way, for this one, there is no ISO to download. It's just a single file. And it's English. So we will take that. We're going to install this into the root of the C drive. And there is a reason for this. Through some quirk in the way that Microsoft has developed this, it won't install unless it's on the root drive. We've downloaded the tool. We're going to go to the server manager so that we can make sure that this tool will access through Internet Explorer the web in order to get the rest of the actual package. It'll be done across the Internet. There is no ISO for this at this time so there's not much you can do about it but this. We're going to make sure that IE Enhanced Security Configuration is off. Once you've completed that, you want to make sure to go into your control panel, search for UAC, change your user account settings all the way down to Never Notify. This is a 2016 server that we're doing this on. This uh, future use is going to add a set manager to it. So we say OK. We're ready to actually install. Now we go find the file. And it should be in the root of our C drive. We right click it and run as an administrator wait for it to start close that window we click next we want to install all four modules and click install this will take a while so we'll do a little time crunching here to make sure that the video is actually moves along quickly. The actual installation is now started. It's all done through Visual Studio. Management server and client tools was removed from the DVD. The reasoning behind it was so that they could independently update the client tools and the management server outside of SQL Server. You wouldn't have to go through the long process of actually running that install over again. It's very slow install, so it's still moving. It's almost done. It's been almost 15 minutes in the install so far. The installation is complete. Close it. We'll open up an Explorer window and we'll go see what it installed. What we're looking for is the bcp.exe file. Oh, wrong place. 
there it is and that's the file that will allow the set manager to do transactions with the SQL database and we're done thank you for watching